peace, love, and light, family. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. I hope you're living in your greatest purpose. Let's get into your messages. <clears throat> hmm. I'm hearing the word revolution. <laughs> Do you want a revolution? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Scorpio, this message is for you. Check and see what's in your energy. Um, let's see what's in your energy. Stickers. What message do you have for the Divine Collective? Mm. Just this Two of Swords. And this Two of Swords is... Hmm. It's upside down. I'm hearing all roads are clear. Ready for takeoff. Mm -hmm. All roads are, are clear. Ready for takeoff. It's an energy of elevation. It's an energy of taking flight. Huh. Speaking of taking flight, Scorpios. <laughs> Speaking of taking flight. Mm-hmm. Y'all know all things happen for a reason. Speaking of taking flight, all things happen for a reason. All roads are clear ready to take flight you're ready to take flight you're taking flight Scorpios you're taking flight page of cups like this is as clear as it gets mm. all hands together you're in manifesting mode you're in meditation mode heart chakra energy um, seeing an energy of balance. Uh, the divine is also saying that the number two is significant for you at this time. Mm. Oh yeah. The number two is certainly significant. Scorpios, you get to know that you're in such a position of elevation. Literally, some people, the only thing they're going to be able to see is your feet. <laughs> the only thing they're going to be able to see is your feet. And you know, especially who this is happening to. You see this little pig in the background? It's everyone who said, oh, Scorpio will take flight when pigs fly. Scorpio will succeed when pigs fly. Like it's those people that doubted you. The ones the ones that said, Yeah, Scorpio is in this relationship or is doing this. I believe it when pigs fly. Well, guess what? Today's the day. Pigs are flying. <laughs> and the only thing they can see is your feet. The only thing they can see is your feet. You're flying in every sense of the word, Scorpios. King of Wands, this is an energy of this divine magician. The Wands represents an energy of creation. The King of Wands judgment, this is an awakening. This is you awakening to your power. The King of Wands is a creator, a leader. One who leads. And this lion in the background represents his spirit animal. For many of you, you get to know that one of your spirit animals is the lion this may also mean that you may have like um some sort of leo energy in your chart okay i could do magic mm, they still around those Scorpios. these low vibrationals you know yeah you get to know that. Keep keep flying. You see this earth sign right here? The one that just popped up as soon as you said all roads are open, ready to take flight. Okay, this represents someone wanting you wanting you to be pulled down back to earth. They want to pull you back down. Be careful of the person that's trying to pull your feet. And that may be significant too. 
possibility of setting traps. Mm. Okay. So this actually may mean this. This energy of um, someone may have set a trap. Or they're setting a trap. Okay. Booby trap. Hmm. You're being illuminated to this though. You're, you're, your spirit guides will not steer you wrong. They're, they're going to let you know what happens. All roads are clear. All roads are clear, ready for takeoff. And like when you think of this energy, right? Mm. Some of you may also be traveling. Okay, some of you may also be traveling, like literally traveling. This energy of roads being clear may be an indication of um, just the energy of your life right now as well. And, you know, take it as it resonates. And for many of you, it's really, it's, it's, it's both like there are no limits. You're living out loud at this time. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. This devil card wanted to stay. Look at this, Scorpios. All roads are clear. Okay, so this is the release. So, so there may have been someone. Hmm. I'm hearing that the people. The people that tried to block you, they knew that you'd be taking flight. They saw something. They saw something in you. They saw something in you. For many of you, they were really trying to keep you from seeing this. The divine is saying that you're also protected and you're ready. You're ready to go into this new phase you're ready to take flight whatever it is whatever energy that the divine is saying you're clear from you're clear of this it could be some it could be some <clears throat> karma mm. for many of you there may have been an incidence of some sort where you felt like you made some sort of error that it was going to come back. And I'm seeing that it may not necessarily have been an error that you meant to intentionally hurt someone. It may have been something that was, it was something that was persuaded either by someone else or some other force. And this, mm, Scorpios, you had a lot of people trying to keep you, like literally create energies of karma. in your life like they saw you as someone that could do no wrong and they literally were trying to create situations where this is really heavy this is heavy energy Scorpios this is very heavy energy um, where they were trying to create scenarios it's like they saw that you saw a lot of things and you tried to avoid a lot of pitfalls, a lot of traps. And it may have been one or two people. I'm hearing it was a setup. They tried to set you up 
to receive some sort of karmic energy to receive bad karma they tried to set you up take it as it resonates for many of you this may actually be something that the divine is <sighs> I'm getting it's really past energy that they, they tried to set you up to receive to fall into like this pitfall to receive bad karma mm. the reason why this two of swords showed up and the divine is saying all roads are clear the divine is saying that there was something that happened that released you from this there was something that you did that released this energy of bad karma either something that you did something that happened see this is both an energy of release and i saw the emperor card showed up too it may have to do with this emperor a fire sign something that happened with a fire sign emperor being a father figure someone that's protective something that protected you from this The divine is saying that there may have been an ancestor, possibly father figure, that helped to release some bad karma that was it was a it was a trap of some sort, some pitfall, something that was a it was a setup for you to receive bad karma. And this is why the, actually these three came together. They came together. If you recall the emperor. Hmm. Okay. The emperor showed up. The emperor showed up. The emperor showed up with the death card and the devil upside down. <laughs> ah, every time. Every time I say that, Scorpios, the devil upside down, it literally gives me this image of someone who is of a low vibrational energy that's literally being turned upside down at this time. And you get to know that this might actually be someone, this person, that may have set up something for you to receive bad karma. And there was an ancestor father figure that stepped in and released you from this from receiving this bad karma and because the emperor card showed up i'm getting the sense that this was this may have been for many of you take it as it resonates this may have been this ancestor father figure that stepped in to release you from this energy of bad karma see this release this is release. This is also release. This is an ending. And this right here is giving this energy of like roads being clear. If there was a blockage, it's clear. Hmm. This represents stagnation. This is blockage. And the fact that this right here precedes everything else relating to this Two of Swords, there's an energy of release that's really, really significant. Mm. Okay. Tell me about the devil card. Hmm. 
this release that this release energy also removed you from mm. so it, rem it removed you from blockage it removed you from being stuck again that's what all roads are clear ready for takeoff this person may have known that you are actually getting ready to take off. This person may have known that your takeoff met this Ten of Cups. And this Ten of Cups came out before. The Divine is letting you know. This is what you were meant to receive. This Ten of Cups. This is an, an energy of like extreme happiness and joy, abundance, stability. It's like the Ten of Cup is like the epitome of success. It's, it's the epitome of like divine blessings, balance, an energy of balance coming out. This is like the happiest of situations. This is, this is the divine is saying this is what abundance looks like for you. A happy home. And basically anything that comes in your way that is not serving your highest good is going to be removed. Six of swords. It's like everywhere you go, Scorpios, blockages are being removed from you. The devil card coming upside down is a release from bondage. The ancestor card, the death and rebirth card, 13, is an energy of release. And then the divine is letting you know what this release is bringing, which is this ten of cups. So perhaps this person know that there was this great level of abundance, happy family that was promised to you. And I'm getting the sense that this person was very specific in choosing you to get this like bad karma. Like they saw this coming for you. Scorpios, you get to know, some of y'all may not believe this. You get to know that there are people in the world that's like this, that feel like just because they're having a boohoo moment that you should be having a boohoo moment as well there's that energy of release and progress here too and then we saw the four of cups which is an energy of release hmm. there was something that happened there was something that happened So we know that this hmm, five of wands. So you're being released from this um, this person's energy, releasing yourself from this person's energy. But more importantly. There was something that you did. Okay. You release yourself from their energy. That's one. There's something else that you did that released. It's like this. This bad karma energy. Like this person was trying. To, it's like this is the image I'm getting, right, Scorpios? It's like you ever you ever see the person that literally tries to turn someone you've heard of the term turn someone out literally like coming towards you in your energy of peace and healing 
And this person may have actually done this while you were going through your healing process and they saw that you were ready to take flight you were ready to, to take off you were ready to fly and receive all the abundance that's coming towards you and here they are literally pulling your feet down with their energy pulling their feet down with whatever it is that perhaps that they tried it's like you're it's like i'm getting this image also like you're a you're a hot air balloon ready to take off and here this person go with their pin just ready to pop that thing so that way it doesn't fly and they may have tried to convince you to get into something or convince you to do something in a moment where you may not have had spiritual awareness you may not have been as aware as you are now you had people <sighs> Scorpios there's some folks that pray on the week in their moment of Mm. and i'm getting that it's like that prey on the weak energy you may not have been weak but and spiritually you were not as mature as you are now and there were some things that this person may have this person may have done okay i know scorpios it's a lot Mm. does it have to do with perhaps it may have to do with this to, uh, it may be an earth sign this release may be from an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy um, hmm. it may also be an air sign this is Libra Gemini Aquarius that this release is coming from and this ancestor stepped in okay tell me about this death card and that's you represented in your reading Scorpios mm. this ancestor figure I'm getting that it may be an air sign Leo Sag Aries energy. This is a nine of wands energy coming out. You you have a ancestor, possibly ancestor male figure, father figure. Um that wasn't willing to give up on you. they were willing to be the last one standing <laughs> uh, when it comes to you when it comes to assuring that you get this you get this energy of like bliss and happiness like while you had this person working doing what they doing to try to create karma you also had this ancestor who may have actually transitioned and in their transition gained some sort of ability and power to be able to help you even more mm -hmm. to help you to get unstuck to help you to to release you from karma someone may have been trying to create for you anything else about the death card Scorpios, this is what this possibly, this is possibly what this ancestor wanted for you. This ancestor, this Ten of Cups is created, mm, is created 
is created by the lover's god. <laughs> okay. Um, this is happening because of this. A happy home, happy family, stability, all of that is happening because perhaps there was someone, take it as it resonates, it may not resonate for all of you. Perhaps that there was a divine connection that this ancestor knew that you were supposed to have. And I'm getting this energy of possibly an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Mm. The connection with this person meant that it would bring forth a lot more abundance and happiness. And whatever this person was doing was tied to you not getting this which would lead to that. I see nine of pentacles, independent wealth. This is an energy of abundance. So like this abundance that having this soul connection brings, your ancestors possibly knew that whatever this person was doing it was to deter this connection from happening, which would lead to this. This is a divine union. You had someone who was literally like... You ever seen those like Roadrunner and Coyote video Scorpios where it's like... Here's the Coyote always setting traps. Always setting traps for the roadrunner. Because for whatever reason, that coyote was always trying to catch the roadrunner. And the roadrunner was always too fast for the coyote. The roadrunner was always too fast for the coyote. Perhaps that has something to do with, perhaps that's significant to you too. Perhaps this analogy of the roadrunner and coyote meant that this person may have been the coyote trying to chase you, the roadrunner, who was literally ready, getting ready to take off. You ever seen a plane, Scorpios? When they're getting ready to take off? They start off slow and then eventually they have to run fast enough in order to elevate. That's you. This person saw this. And deterring this connection, this union meant deterring the path for you to get this. This ancestor figure very much, um, this person don't play about you. They weren't, they weren't willing to give up on you. And they work to assure that you receive this connection. Because they knew what it meant, what it would mean for you. In this energy of elevation that you are in at this time. And when this person right here, this low vibrational was dealing with you, you could have been, the image that I'm getting is, you could have been that plane that just basically, the engine just started. Mm. Your engine was just starting Scorpios when they met you. And now, you're taking flight. Your engine was just starting, Scorpios, when they met you. And now you're taking flight. That's some serious stuff. This is you. Okay? And the divine is saying to those karmics, take a whiff. Because that's all you're going to be able to see. That's all you're going to be able to sense of Scorpio. The divine is saying... Your engine was just starting when they met you. And now you're taking flight. <laughs> Scorpios. 
you're going to be hearing some things about some folks that tried you. Some folks that tried you, they're going to be hearing some stuff. Because this ancestor father figure don't play about you when it comes to you. You see this energy that he's coming in? Mm -hmm. Very much here, very much connected to you. And this person is connected to you now more than ever, actually. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Yep, that is the Page of Cups. That is the Page of Cups. Look at that. That is the Page of Cups. This love connection. This love connection is the Page of Cups. Uh, many of you, you may have... You may have had in this experience, or if you haven't, you will. Uh, possibly with an air sign. That's going to be happening really fast. And you see this energy of release again showing up. And I believe it showed up like this. This is an energy of release. I'm not sure how it showed up, either like this or like this. There's an energy of release, again, coming from this very fast progress, fast moving. Again, take it as it resonates. For many of you, you may have. For some of you, um, there's going to be uh, some sort of a connection that you're coming into that's going to be moving at a very fast pace. And the divine is letting you know that when you see this, that's your sign to know that this is not something that's ordinary. This was divinely ordained, a connection that was ordained. Again, take it as it resonates. This may not be the case for all of you. And I'm really getting that this energy of all roads are clear, ready to take off. When they met you, your engine was just starting. Now you're taking flight. Taking flight. Eight of Wands. This is energy. This is taking flight, Scorpios. <laughs> When they met you, your engine just started and now you're taking flight. And again, for many of you, this may also mean travel in your very near future. This really, this energy is very fast progress. Things, things just happening like this, like it's like a domino effect. One thing leading to another. Mm, three, 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 as we speak. Mm. There we go. And three. <laughs> That's how it's going to be working, Scorpios. Like, literally, you you will just say it and it will appear. That's what this Eight of Wands represents. Like, this is the Magician's Wand. You're the Magician. This is why you're the Magician at this time. Extreme manifestation energy warning extreme manifestation energy don't f with scorpio as we speak three as we speak change in cycle success things happening for you exactly as they should hmm. moving away from this for sure this three of swords energy Extreme manifestation energy, Scorpios. When they met you. When they met you. Your engine was just getting started. And now 
you're getting ready to take flight and you're taking flight again for many of you this literally means travel mm -hmm. traveling towards manifestation traveling in your manifestation this may also mean astral traveling this is just what your life looks like for many of you this is what your life will be looking like if it hasn't happened already again the energy is when they met you mm, okay we ain't gonna say that again Scorpio because you got it three may be significant for you at this time doors opening that's lig by energy why you came out oh you may have been dealing with someone that was seven of swords masquerading as a friend very tricky hmm perhaps this was involved this two of cups take it as it resonates had something to do with it some sort of a relationship some sort of a connection some sort of attraction what else do you want us to know spirit mm. this is the outpour that's coming towards you it's an outpour where you're going to be celebrating See what the ancestors have to say about this. Hmm. I'm led to use the other ones today. Being led to use this. Like, it was like a lot of so it was so much depth and energy to that reading. It started out very heavy, and then it it got light. Just as a plane is, it weighs so much. Yet when it's flying, it looks like it's light as a bird. And this has to do with this, this flying pig, <sighs> something that you never thought or they never thought would take flight, is literally flying at this time. <clears throat> Give us a word of wisdom regarding this reading. Words of truth and clarity. Okay. I'm seeing here. The star of Venus is showing up for you. Let's see what the star of Venus is saying. <coughs> this is 20. Oh, and didn't we say the number two was significant? Didn't we say the number two was significant for you? Okay, and I'm, I'm overstanding why. Two represents union. And Venus, the energy of love, presides over your union. Mm -hmm. This is Mama Oshun. And for many of you, you may be saying, I'm not in a union. If you're not, you're going to be. If you're not, this may have to do with self-love, okay? Because if anyone knows about love, self-love, it is Mama Venus. 
Hmm. Oh gosh. Okay. Shaska Star Venus supports an inner shift to higher consciousness. Whether or not you consider yourself to be financially skillful, part of your sacred power and purpose includes the healing of economic and financial matters in your life and the world. You are meant to experience abundance, creating and sharing prosperity from a place of inner spiritual security. A healing liberation from poverty consciousness allows the universe to work through you more easily without the obstruction of negative conditioning. Ah. Financial healing is indicated. Let go of fear and trust unconditionally that the universe is supporting you. What brings you a sense of joy, purpose, and passionate devotion? Focus on it. Give of your spirit abundantly. Nothing is beyond the reach of divine assistance. Trust in this and you can fulfill your purpose of being a positive influence in the world. So I'm getting, Ashe, I'm getting that this is, you're receiving the blessings of Oshun. You're receiving um, the blessings from this uh, star of Venus energy, which was very, very strong. It came out strongly here. And you get to know that this energy of love that's represented here, this is this energy here. Star Venus, Oshun, you know, Ezuli uh, Frida. This is Mother Love herself. This is what's represented here. And this is exactly what this person, someone, may have been a group of people even, was trying to block because essentially it leads to this like like complete fulfillment and for many of you you get to know that the energy of love is an energy of abundance that gives way to everything else especially the energy of financial abundance okay especially the energy of financial abundance which is represented here so the divine is reminding you that whatever it is and whoever it is that tried blocking your path, that tried setting traps for hindering your abundance, it didn't work. It did not work. And the divine is saying, you are taking flight at this time. The divine is specifically letting those enemies masquerading as friends know when they met you, you had just started your engine. And right now, you are taking flight. And that is the word of the divine. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and divine light.